Flying is freedom. It connects us with the places, people and things we love. But this comes at a cost to the environment that will grow as more people in all parts of the world take to the air. That's why the world's airlines have committed to reaching net zero carbon emissions by 2050. To get there, we have a bold plan that involves using sustainable fuels and radical technologies, aided by flight efficiencies and offsetting. It's a plan that needs industry and governments to work closely together. Sustainable aviation fuels, or SAFs, are the foundation of our strategy. Because they absorb carbon as they are made, SAFs cut net emissions by 80%. SAFs can come from plants, recycled cooking oil, household waste and renewable energy. We are going to increase the amount of SAFs we use to around 450 billion litres by 2050, eliminating 65% of our CO2. It will be a fuel revolution. And as we have seen with the switch to solar and wind for electricity, when everyone works together, change can happen fast. The most exciting development is a zero emissions plane that will require new electric or hydrogen propulsion designs. These are already on the drawing board, but will take time to enter the fleet. From about 2035, we will start to see these planes on short haul flights. By 2050, they could be eliminating 13% of our CO2. We will be continuing to improve efficiencies in operations and infrastructure, like flying more direct air traffic control routes, and any remaining emissions will be removed by investing in offsetting and carbon capture technology, which sucks carbon out of the air and stores it or turns it into something useful. Our plan for net zero also offers a realistic opportunity to boost the green economy with new jobs and technologies, while improving energy security and strengthening air connectivity. And travellers will know that each flight they take will be progressively more sustainable as we approach a net-zero future. <laughs>